At this point in the DVD, I'd like to talk to you about how um, you can better understand scales. To really better understand scales, you need to know what every single note is you're playing on the guitar. You need to know that that's an E, for example, that's the C. You really need to know what every single fret and every single string does. But one good way of just better understanding the guitar is to know that um, between certain notes there's no sharps and there's no flats. An example would be between B and C, it just goes straight to B and C, there's no B sharp or C flat. Um, you, you can write C as B sharp if you, did, if you write it down in the music notation, but there's no B sharp C, if you understand what I mean, sort of note. Um, and the same is true between E and F, there's no E sharp, there's no F flat, even though you can write E as F flat if you wanted to. Um, so, B, C, E, F, in between all the other notes in between, C and D, there's a C sharp, or, or you can think of it as a D flat, they're the same note. It's just ways of perceiving it. So, scales basically are groups of notes um, that are played together um, under a chord or whatever. Um, you, you're probably familiar with um, the pentatonic scales and the blues scales. I'll quickly play them for you now so you can for those that don't don't know them already. But you really should learn the major scales and the um, normal minor scales. Um, but first of all, the minor pentatonic scale and the major pentatonic scale are these. For example, in A, we have an A minor pentatonic. A major pentatonic. Is that, which is actually the same as, for example, an A would be F sharp. Think of F sharp minor, but start it from A. So you go down three, uh, three frets. So it would look something like this. The reason why um, they're the same patterns is because the relative minor and uh, major trick that I'll talk to you about later when we go into the normal major and minor scales. But for now. It's just you go down three, three frets from the minor pentatonic and play it in major, but obviously start it from A because it's in A. So they're those ones. Um, the blues scale in A is the same as the A minor scale, but it's got a flat fifth note hazard, and that's known as the devil's note. Um, so it looks something like this. <laughs> that makes it sound more bluesy. Um, but the scales that you really should know and get to grips with are the normal major and the normal minor scales. And this is because they've got other notes in between um, which can make your, make it obviously you limit yourself if you just know pentatonic and you only play pentatonic you limit yourself entirely if, if you don't know these other scales. So I'll play just the normal major shape in one octave for you now. Uh, in A major, for example, would look something like this. You have A, B, C sharp, D, E, G flat, G sharp, A. So that's, that's in one octave. The um, uh, say major. The A natural minor shape looks something like this. But really you need to know both of these in um, two octaves, at least. Um, so the A major, the normal A major sort of box shape as it's known as, just within sort of this, the limitations of these frets, looks something like this. And that's going up two octaves. The A natural minor going up two octaves looks something like this.
actually went up to the C there. You can add other notes in or whatever because um, they're all in the key of A minor. So basically that's why I, I said um, it's good to know what every note is on the guitar. Um, so if you just learn a scale in one octave and you know what the notes are, you just think like for example B major or whatever, you know you've got B, a C sharp, a D sharp, an E, an F sharp, a G sharp, you know, an A sharp, and then back to B again. You know those notes, just think about them, and then you can play them anywhere on the guitar. So you can start from B there and be able to go up, you know, whatever. You know, as long as you know the names of the notes, it helps a lot. Guitarists that just go by fret positions and numbers and, st and that, you're not really going to understand it better. If you're going to do something, you might as well really do, do it properly, in my opinion. So, for example, you, a harder one might be like B-flat minor, nat natural minor. If you just know what the notes are, you know, you've got a D-sharp in it or whatever, and a, an F, and obviously B-flat, you just look at it, work out what the notes are, and then you can play it wherever because you know what, what notes are what and that's the best way I think of really sort of understanding the guitar better is to know the notes that you're playing so um, but for now there's, there's another type of scale that I like to teach you they're basically the, the basic scales, the normal major and the normal minor um, but, but they can be played in um, different ways you can play them just one octave or going up two octaves in the normal sort of box position it's called a sort of box position, you're restricting yourself between these, these frets.